The ancient ruins of Egypt, regardless of their astonishing characteristics or the often enormous megalithic building blocks used in the site's construction, are still claimed by an academia with no explanation as to how, as the work of our well-studied yet far more recent ancestors, the Egyptians. It is one of the most crucial ancient locations when it comes to exposing the conspiratorial nature of academia, a denial of the obvious by those who were faithfully tasked with explaining the origins of said sites, or indeed how said sites were created. Any of these long-awaited answers, however, remain elusive. For in reality, no one knows who built the ancient pyramids of Giza, how they did it, when they did it, or indeed why. We simply cannot explain how these feats of engineering and architecture were accomplished. For although such ruins are claimed as a particular group's work, there is no logical reasoning that can be provided to confirm this claim. Additionally, there are many other, no less gigantic megalithic blocks which can be found throughout Egypt, often found used within the many temples, but also seen buried, concealed within the foundations, which make up part of the floor at the pyramid's bases. And Dendera Temple is of no exception. We have covered the temple in the past, focusing on an intriguing depiction which many have come to conclude depicts a lost lighting technology. Some individuals have now created working replicas of this intriguing device. We have also covered the steps found within the temple. These steps appear to have been melted at some point in the past, rather than simple entropy. The temple, however, possesses many more inexplicable secrets, all concealed from the majority of Earth's population by a field of study that firstly lacks any demonstrative evidence but also due to the evidence which one can mount to support the positive past stone-cutting power technology having once existed, thus these features are effectively ignored and thus largely overlooked. Copper chisels cannot explain its existence. People who have explored the temple have found that the repeating reliefs within are perfectly symmetrical, identical in form to within millimeters of each other the leaching of salts between surfaces are the only reasons we can see the joints in the Great Hall. Furthermore, Chris Dunn, a fellow antiquarian, has explored these intriguing clues within Dendera Temple previously. Not only did the precision of the carving stun Chris Dunn, but the finish upon such a brittle stone has led Chris to conclude that high technology was once utilized to create the stone carvings. Who built Dendera? What technologies were used to construct the temple, or indeed ancient Egypt as a whole? Dendera is undoubtedly a jewel in the crown, a now lost antiquity, one which we find highly compelling.